Hello guys, this video is going to showcase the various pre-order watches that you got when you pre-ordered the Zero Escape series, starting with 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. This pre-order watch, um, it released when the game came out in 2010. And I believe initially it was included in the total price of the game. But they sold out. They sold out pretty quickly, so I got this when they had it on the website for five dollars free shipping. And as you can see, the quality is pretty good. Um, the it's made out of metal and painted red. And then in between, it's plastic, um, flexible. Um, straps. It has two little clips that connect to the other side. And the face is very shiny. Battery still works. It's a little dull at this point. And that's the pre order bonus that came out. For the first game. Also came with instructions. And this is the game that came out on the original DS. Next in the series is Virtue's Last Reward, that came out on PS Vita and Nintendo 3DS. And those had um, different colored LED watches. Here I only have three of them, I think there was a fourth one, a uh, blue one. So I have the green LED, the red LED, and the yellow one that was only available after, after it was only available on the website. I think I paid $30 for this. So when you open them up, it has this plastic cap on it. It has like a foam piece, there's instructions in this little slot. It looks like that. There's a foam piece in the middle. And as you can see, the dip in quality is pretty obvious. This is all plastic now. Um, I wouldn't wear this, mainly because um, it feels like this rubber piece in the in the strap would break eventually. See right here how it's connected? It feels like if you pull it at all it's gonna rip off. Yeah that's a green one. Again it's getting a little dull because I can't get the batteries out. So this is the Virtue's last reward. Here's a yellow one. Mine came defective, but I didn't feel like sending it back. So you can see how oh, it's very dull now. But when I got it, there's like a line missing in one of the LED um, clock display sections, so it doesn't light up for a certain in a certain area of the screen. But that's fine. I just got it for a collection.
even a nice case. It's like a, it's all plastic with two little caps on the top and bottom. But it's a nice touch. And lastly, um, we have Zero Time Dilemma that came out for the PS Vita and 3DS. And I just got these yesterday, actually. Comes in a relatively cheap um, plastic container. Um, they were, it was, it wasn't sealed, it was taped together by, um, masking tape. So as you can see, the watch face is pretty reflective. It has little um, wear lines that are supposed to be like that. Overall, it looks pretty nice. But um, the dipping quality from the first game is pretty obvious. And um, it's all plastic and rubber for the, the bands. Overall, for being a late pre-order item for Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma, um, I felt like, I'm glad we got the watches finally, but um, the quality isn't the best. I mean, the, this, the watch face is metal, it feels like, because it's pretty heavy. Um, but I wouldn't go out of my way to go on eBay to buy these. I mean, it's a nice touch. Um, maybe if you're a fan of the series, it might be worth it, but um, the best one is obviously the first one that came out in 2010. It's just very heavy, and you can tell they put a lot of effort into this. So there you go, guys. This is the overview of the Zero Escape pre-order watches. Maybe there'll be more in the future. Till next time.